you're really sort of planning what the painting is going to look like before you paint it. In other words, so you're not going to stand here and paint this with all the leaves and everything, and then it turns out that everything's on this side, it really doesn't look that good. This is here, this is here, these are up higher. I'm going to bring them down just a little bit, like that. These are the ones in the background. I'll put the leaves in front. This is here, up here like this, going off. This is darker. Okay, and then this one is coming forward here, so here like that, and this one is here like this. Then you say, okay, I'm going to put this one down in here, like that. So you see, now you have the movement of the painting before you're even thinking about any details, right? This light is here. This comes in here like this. Okay, this turns in here like that. Now, this is like painting uh, cherries or grapes or anything like that because when you have a, a group of leaves really close together, what you do is you just go in and you put a mass of green like that. And then you go in with your pinks or whatever you want. And you say, okay. This leaf is sitting here, it goes like that, up into here like this. Turns down and this part of this leaf is here. Coming like that. And then you have this leaf going up in the background. Like this. in the background like this. And see, since it's wet, these lights won't come forward as much as that, all right? So you're pushing them back so you can see that they're sparkling through, but they're not, <clears throat> they're not coming forward. This is dark. Now look, I put my green in here. And I say, okay, this leaf is like that. So I can draw it in and put the green in whenever I want to. Say this is dark in here, like this. This is dark in here, like that. And down, and say this is here. This leaf cuts through here. So you can kind of pick out leaves as you go, but you're picking them out in a way that whatever you want to come forward will. Okay? These flowers are in the background. And even though you blur your eyes and they're as light as this one, if I paint them up that high, they're, they're going to come forward too. We're not going to do details on these roses because they're in the background. We're going to do them like this. We're going to thin our paint and put them in like that. They don't have to be exactly what you're seeing. They just have to make sense. Is there going to this, this is catching light in here like that. This comes down to here. This is going over like that. And the leaves that I can see the sun through you want to make a little bit hotter. So you say, okay, that's there. This guy is more like that. Or you can see him warm. Now what you want to do is paint some keys like that, this, and stuff so that when you come back tomorrow you can find out where you are, okay? And you don't want it to be flowers because they may not be there the next day. So you say, okay, this background is here, like that. 
Okay, this comes around here like this, to here, and to here like that. This piece here is coming up like that, cutting through here in front of this. And we have this piece back here, cutting through it. Okay, and then, so you just kind of show yourself where you're going to go. That's set up a little bit, so I can paint this into a leaf. That, these have set up a little bit. So I can start making it into a rose. This comes into here like that. Into there. It rolls over this like that. This little piece in here. Like that. Go back to work for a while. And then I'll do this again tomorrow afternoon and we'll continue, okay? Okay, so then. Now I have this, so I'm going to say, all right, this has a really bright light right here, but it's blue. abstract components of it out so that you can see if it's going to work and you can go on from there. Okay? Alright, back Thank to you. work.